ever returned from doing an errand to discover your car's been damaged? As our Liz DeSantis before, chances are police won't have enough evidence to solve your case. According to police data, last year, police in Owensboro only solved about 8% of hit and run cases. And here in Evansville, things weren't that much better with the solve rate sitting right below 15%. I talked with both police departments to see what you can do if you find yourself the victim of one of these hit and runs. Try to investigate all of them, but there's so many of them that come in, like I said, that a lot of times people have no idea when the damage even happens. Evansville Police Department's public information officer, Anna Gray, says more than 85% of hit and run accidents went unsolved last year. The reason? Lack of evidence. The majority of those are typically um, people go out to their car um, either first thing in the morning or after they've been inside somewhere shopping or something to that effect. There are a few ways the detectives can help solve your case if you find yourself in this situation, though. Owensboro Police Department's Lieutenant Tristan Russellberg says valuable breaks in these cases can come from witnesses. No matter how small the details, they're able to provide. Well, you may, as a witness, uh, not come forward because you have a very small detail, such as I only saw the color of the car. Um, and yeah, that small detail in itself may not help us solve the case, but when we have a few witnesses that had those small details, we can put that kind of stuff together. And one way these details can be put together is with the use of expanding flock camera programs. These little cameras located usually at intersections collect vehicle data from passing cars. We have the flock cameras um, all through town, so sometimes we're lucky enough that if we do get even a partial plate, we can at least plug that in. And if the suspect vehicle was in the area of one of those flock cameras, we could get a better description. EPD says they've even taken to social media on occasion to ask the public for help in identifying some of these suspects. Russellberg and Gray both say that they encourage anyone who has any information to come forward. Reporting in Evansville, I'm Liz DeSantis, 14 News.